So let's start today's computer class. In the last class, we discussed basic structure of HTML, what is tag, and its types. And today we are going to study about more tags, which we will use in body tag. Fine. So let's begin. First tag is paragraph tag. To make the set of statements or to convert set of statements into paragraph we use which tag p tag this is called paragraph tag it makes the paragraph to start from new line so how will how will it convert the set of statements into paragraph by starting the paragraph from next line new line and by creating one blank line space before and after the paragraph fine so what is the use of p tag it converts set of statements into paragraph by making the paragraph to start from new line and by creating one blank line space before and after the paragraph fine now p tag is a container tag as it is a container tag so it has on tag as well as off tag or starting tag as well as closing tag now to align the text in paragraph we use which attribute align attribute now i am using a new term attribute now what is attribute attributes are the words which give additional information about the tag so align is the attribute of p tag fine now in align what values you can give you can give left right center and justify now what does it mean if you align the paragraph left alignment means from the left side all the text will come in one line not like this zigzag form all the text will appear in one line if you align the text from the right side or assign the value right into align attribute so it will align the text from right side right now there is no right alignment fine but when you assign align equals to right so all the text should come in one line fine center center means it will try to align at the center but its output will look similar to the left alignment they are very similar left and center fine now in justify justify try to align the text from both side from left side as well as from right side so it will align the text of paragraph from both side that is justify so i hope it is clear paragraph tag and its attribute align and the four values you can give left right center justify now the next is line break which i have already told you br tag is used to give line break it brings the text into next line without leaving one blank line space this is the difference between br tag and p tag fine p tag also brings the text into next line but also leaves one blank line space above and below the paragraph but in line break only text will come to the next line without leaving one blank line space as i told you it will work just as enter works in ms word fine and it is an empty tag p tag is a container tag and br is an empty tag empty tag means it has only on tag or starting tag fine now the heading tag what is the use of heading tag to give heading in the web page we use heading tag six different headings are available heading tags are available h1 h2 h3 h4 h5 h6 six different sizes h1 is the largest size and h6 is the smallest size heading so you can use either of it fine what is the syntax heading tag then the string of tags which you want to make it heading then heading tag close now in example we have used h3 so h3 i have given heading size h3 information technology is a string of text 
and H3 close. So again H uh, heading tag is also a container tag and information technology will be displayed as heading of size H3 and six sizes are available in heading. Fine. Next is superscript and subscript. Now sometimes in HTML document we need to display some formulas of chemistry as well as formulas of maths. So in that case sometimes we need to display the text above the normal line or below the normal line. For that we use superscript and subscript tag. So the superscript tags are used to represent some text or data above the normal line. For example, if you want to display some power like x raised to power 4. So how will you represent raised to power 4? By using superscript. Like another example is here a plus b whole square. So how will you write square? By using superscript tag. And the other is subscript tags which is used to represent some text or data below the normal line like H2O, CO2, fine. SUP, we will use SUP for superscript. SUP tag defines the superscript tag text and sub defines the subscript text. Now what is the syntax? If you want to display H2O, how will you write? You will write H then you will enclose two within sub tag, sub tag starting tag and sub tag closing tag and then you will write O. So it will display H2O. Now to write A plus B whole square first you will write A plus B then you will enclose two within superscript tag. Fine. Superscript, for superscript we use SUP then SUP close. So these are superscript and subscript tag. Now the next is font tag. Now what is the use of font tag? Font tag is used to change the font, the size and the color of text. Fine. Now to change the font size and color of text we use face, size and color respectively as an attribute. So these are attribute. Font is the tag and these three are attributes. Fine. Attributes of which tag? Font tag. Now face attribute. What is the use of face attribute? It is used to change the style of text. Fine. And the size attribute specifies the size of font. Now how many sizes you can give? From 1 to 7 only. In HTML you can give from 1 to 7. By default font size of the text is 3. If you want, if you are not giving any size, fine. Then by default it will take font size 3. But if you want to change it, if you want to make it large or small, then you will, you can change but within this range 1 to 7. Fine. Now to change the color of text, you will give color attribute, C-O-L-O-R attribute. Now how will you use all these attributes? This is the example. You will use font, then face. Face equals to Vardana I have taken. Many more uh, styles are available. Like you have, you must have seen in MS Word different uh, styles of font. So you can give anyone that I have given font face equals to Vardana. Size equals to 4. Within 1 to 7 it is color equals to blue. And these texts will be, you can uh, give double quotes in 4 also or otherwise it will work. But here as a string you should give within double quotes. Fine. Then hello student. Hello student, what is this? This is string of text of which you want to make some changes in size, style and color. And then font tag close. Fine. So it will change the style Vardana size 4 and color blue of hello students and font tag is of which type of tag container tag fine next is bold italic underline to make the text bold italic underline we use b i u tag fine 
B for bold, I for italic, U for underline. Now, how will you use it? You will enclose the string within B tag to make it bold. You will enclose within I tag to make it italic and within U tag to underline the text. Now, if you want to give all effects together, you can give by using in such type like B I U welcome to HTML. Now when you close the tag you will close in reverse like first you will close U then I then B. Fine. Now by the background and text color how we will change the background color as well as text color. Now if you don't give any specific color so by default the background color of html document is white and text color is black to change the background color and text color we give use the attribute bg color and text within body tag fine so bg color and text are the attributes of body tag and what is the syntax you will write body bg color equals to any color name like yellow I have given the background color will be displayed in yellow and the text color will be blue. So this was about background and text color. So today we discussed about few tags and the attributes. I hope you have understood it. So you can try if you have computer at your home otherwise I'll show you practical in the next video. I'll show the usage of all these tags. That's it for today. Thank you for watching and hit the subscribe button to get the latest updates. Thank you class.